ice you to death. There's more. Where are you at? Guy. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Handy, handy. How are they? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. How come they aren't getting hit by this? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh crap. Oh crap. Dust. Yep, yep. Oh boy. This is a this is a mobile situation sort of. One where you better be dead, guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, 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 ow. Suck on something, suck on something. I'm a Yeah, okay. You guys, what are you guys doing? Okay. Wow, Zaid's like doing great on the damage front. Okay. Uh, target left. Various industrial bits. Nice. Okay, so we can just, there's a bunch of doors that we can get stuff in. So, wait, do you want me to go? So I'll go through this way. Oh, various industrial bits. Well, unless you have something cool for me. Oh, I'm ow, 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 I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? No? Okay.
Diddly squat? Okay, cool. What did that say? Did it say anything? I kind of assume... Yeah, I was supposed to go through that door. And you're just side doors to... For stuff? I don't know. Maybe there would be people imprisoned in there if I... Hadn't tried to save... The people first. Oh boy. This is stressful. Well, hey, with Kasumi, we shot on that guy who was in a helicopter. Of course, he wasn't trying to get away. That guy looks much younger than him. You jerk. Are we really not gonna be able to get him? Oh. You just cost me 20 years of my Ooh, life. Ooh, I pulled out my pistol super quick. Zaid. It makes sense that you'll burn in it. Yeah. Screw you. Now come on. Get me out of this shithole. You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You put your own goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not okay. done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll just lift done. this thing off of you. That you couldn't get off of you. Let's get the hell out of here. Didn't he... Blow up? Didn't Vito blow up? Or was that just the refinery? I'm kind of curious. Contest of wills here. I'm gonna, he's not the kind of guy that just gives up, you know, you have to keep an eye on him. Like, is, did I not get his loyalty then? Uh, has been liberated, the company has been laser built. Although Vito Santiago escaped, Zaid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. Okay. So he got a new outfit. Alright, well, hopefully, I mean, I don't want him to die, like, but he needed to realize that I was in charge and what he did jeopardized us. What if we were out with the collectors and he's like, oh, just kidding, I don't want to do this and like, does something to screw up everything and it's like, okay, well, dude, like, I understand the whole lone gunman, lone wolf thing, like, but freaking, if you're gonna work with people now, again, for the, it's been what, like, 20 years or more since he's done that? Like, you're gonna need to figure some things out. Gotta learn to play nice with others. That wasn't too long, though. It was a hectic mission, but not too long. I didn't level up all the way, though. Oh, I still have to level up a little bit. Okay, let's go do that. Commander, you've received oh. a new message at your well, private terminal. Hang on, let's... How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread message. Anything else? Okay, bye. That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Oh, thanks! Okay. Let's check this. <sighs> Froggy facility update. Commander Shepard from Service Intel contacting you per elusive man's instructions. Oh, contacting you per elusive man's instructions. He believed you would want to know that he had ordered Subject Zero's punish to them before the riot broke out. Service personnel arrived to find all guards dead, along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for injuries, given mild amnesiatic treatments, and delivered to the Alliance facilities as survivors of slaver attacks. A few surviving doctors were forcibly retired 
for the role in the project. Per your report, the facility on Pragya has been destroyed. Well, Jack will like to know that. Let's see. Oh, I guess we did. We got his loyalty because we got the point thing. Ooh, that looks cool. I like that one. Let's see how that one goes. Let's go talk to Joker. What do you think about Saeed, Joker? He can literally give you a pretty good stink eye, because I think the one eye maybe doesn't work. Commander. Oh, uh, okay. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. And faint is He's just like me? For now. What? See you, Commander. He's like me, but takes checks? What? I don't like that. I'm much nicer and cuter than he is. I don't think I appreciate that. Uh, where is he? He's down in engineering. <laughs> Joker! <laughs> that's, just, that's not what I wanted to hear, man. So he's, he's like, yeah, I didn't know that guy giving me this thing. I'm not a renegade. I'm not a renegade. I'm a paragon. Let's see. I don't know if we'll... I don't, probably won't get a cutscene with him. But... Hey, it looks good. This mission takes me back. To what? Jack, subject zero. Ah! Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. The Krogan demilitarized zone. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a fresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks. Move the hell out. <laughs> Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still, hell of a fight. I should let you go. Okay. Talk more later, Shepard. Are we all right then? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go we'll talk to Jack really quick. Talk to Jack. We gotta talk about Miranda, I'm pretty sure. Bother little spat. Or maybe, maybe I only had to talk to her if I had to pick, I think, because last time I was like, Miranda is like the reasonable, cool-headed one, so I had to side with Miranda and then come down and placate Jack. Hey. Cool outfit. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. <laughs> I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh, That's so. Uh... I came around. Ran with gangs. Wiped out some gangs. Joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place. Right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? Hmm. You must have met some good people, too. You've seen where I came from. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson, done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, hmm. theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was and a vandalism. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. Oh, I boy. I really liked that moon. Oh, boy. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. 
Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. I think that's the tattoos of the women on, on her back or her shoulder or something. I think there was a group of people that she did get along with for a while and then they were killed. And that I think that's the... Uh, that's what she's talking about. Is the response to them being killed. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. <laughs> I helped. Oh boy. I read you. Okay, sorry if that was getting a little bit fuzzy there. Uh, I noticed, hopefully not too late, that the screen was tearing a bit. But, um, on the recording. But, so, this is it. Jack was talking about the kidnapping thing. And about how it's piracy and all that. We're talking about piracy and the kidnapping and... Well, what was you getting? You were a pirate, too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? <laughs> There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. I won't push it. I, you just booped into the chair. That was kind of scary. Well, you know, she acts like she's proud of it, but at the same time, she's like, I don't... She probably kind of is, and she kind of isn't, and she kind of cares, and she kind of doesn't. But it's something to get off your chest. The only people she's ever talked to about it were people who were there, maybe. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this okay, end. Okay, bye! Maybe I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, Pio. Pio. So we just did uh, Zaid's thing. Um... Talk to Samara. Samara and Jack are the ones we're gonna need to keep an eye on a bit just to make sure. Make sure we've got it. Got it good. Hey, last time I played with Raven Shepherd, I accidentally made. I was trying to be really nice to Jack, and I somehow made her think it was coming on to her, and I wasn't. And I was. It was really weird. It was awkward. Uh, Cause I thought she was by up until like a month ago, but I guess not. What am I doing, Samara? Because she, I think she mentions it that she was like she's had sex with men and women, but I just thought she was like no, and then I was like oh shoot, I always took neutral a actions after that just because I didn't want to like, you know, initiate anything. Cause I was like, I'm not, you know, I'm cool, but I don't want to. I'm already romancing Thane, you know? And, uh, so yeah. I was just, but I was honestly surprised. I was like, oh, like, that's strange. I wonder why they decided to do that. Shepard, I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk ah, with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Jesticars. Come. Come and sit. I wish I actually sat and not just crouched weirdly. No, no. I'll no. stand. Sit. Oh, there the we are sitting! Place in Asari culture. Jesticars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction. Oh, look at us sitting just chilling. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifice. That black and gold, to though. Become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? Ah. It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. Huh. Ah. The brutal path is the only honest one. Sometimes. 
This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. This is, is fun. fun! We're just sitting, talking about because something we don't understand. One can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. Okay, interesting. So it's not about... Okay, so she, so Shepard's like, sometimes the purpose of justice is to have mercy, but she ties that to spiritual enlightenment. She does not attain spiritual enlightenment, but she attains a tranquility, a, a peace, a contentness, perhaps, that many would maybe mistake for enlightenment. The code does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. It purposes protect, punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. Interesting. Huh, that is just so strange. I mean, it's not, but it is. Like, it's like she may seem like a hero, but if those, but I don't know why people who thought she was a hero would, like, why she had to kill them, because they'd most likely be innocents, you know, like, innocent people, you know? What role do you think Justicars have in a sorry society? In modern society. I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight Ah, yeah, she's read our stories! Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. <laughs> You know about knights errant and samurai? <laughs> yeah. When I knew I must leave a sorry space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. Okay. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What for real? Oh my gosh, you're right. Like, that's only been like... 35 years or something since the first contact war? Shoot, we're like super... Like, sometimes I forget how new on the galaxy we are. Like, like how new on the playing field we are, like with the galactic, intergalactic, or galactic stuff, you know? Like, no wonder people are like freaking out that they're like, oh my gosh, you just got here and you're already doing this? Like, power, you're trying to get power or whatever? That's just the way it goes. Like, you don't want to be on the weak end of things. You don't want to have to rely on people, but you don't. I mean, you do, but you don't, you know? You want to. It seems. It just seems to make sense to, like, you know, integrate yourself as fully as you can in the galactic system. But there are a lot of humans alive, uh, like half of them maybe, who, maybe not half, but a large majority who were alive before aliens were a thing, like Anderson was. I think we were born the year after the contact war, Shepard, or the year before the contact war. So, I mean, I don't know, Shepard might remember, if she was born the year before, and she was an orphan on Earth, she might remember hearing some, like, crazy, like, you know, oh, I've encountered aliens, you know, type thing, like, I don't know how she took care of herself when she was a kid, but that's something I could make up someday, I guess. But that's such a good idea to like study the new species and especially humanity, like she, because those are the newest ones on the playing field. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six. Apparently, <laughs> I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I like that. Like, you might think Samara would be like, you know, oh, you guys are a little bit too, you know, pushy or whatever. But she's like, no, I'm interested. I like you guys. Like, it's not just... she. You might think Samara is stuck in her ways because she's part of an, an old order. But she likes the new thinking brashness of humanity, too. Romance in the code. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. <laughs> However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. Uh, I think that's a... Uh, yeah. Eh. Eh, uh. You could meet someone who reawakens okay. those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite well... Oh, okay, so that was me being curious. <laughs> I'm just being flirty. I'm just being like, hey, you just, you know, there could be. <laughs> Samara, I'd be terrified of Samara, though. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. Okay, so they don't mediate at all. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Interesting. 
more more than others, perhaps. Well, uh, probably, <laughs> most likely. Interesting. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. Me too, Samara. There we go. Let's see. Well, let's see if this is. I just got a message from my wife. Oh! I've been listening to my daughter's giggle over and over. <laughs> That's so cute. When this mission is over, I'm gonna give her the longest hug she's ever had. Aww, cute! Cute! That's cute. Dane! What's up, Dane? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you? You are well? No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax. It's not like you run in and, like, get a kiss or anything, or you... You're... You don't even, like, hug him. It's just, like, you just, like, do this hand-holding thing, which I think is a little bit awkward, but at least there's, like, something. You're not just sitting there, like, awkwardly across the table. But at this point, for either one of them, I don't... It's, like... It's been growing, is the thing. And I think in my in my head, you know, there's just, like, little... Like, they interact just, like, tiny bits. Like a... Like a... Like a... Like a quick touch on the arm as they're walking through the like a mission or something or like just reaffirming each other's presence by like icon like quick eye contact or something but i think they don't have to look at each other almost they're like they're like totally like uh synchro synchro sync synced up in like battle and whatever and like she can look at him to see what he thinks but she also doesn't really have to she knows he's there type thing I don't know, that's just how I see it. It's not like this, like, super, like, you know, physical thing. It's more of a mental, emotional stability sort of a thing. I don't know, maybe, and it is. I mean, things that, like, when you really like somebody, it's always going to be physical a little bit. But it's, I feel like with these two, in in some situations, it's, it's not necessarily just about that. But I think, I think I mentioned he is 39, and I believe she's 30 in this, technically. Um, but she's still... 28 maybe 29 now he's been out for a long time but he's almost 10 years older than she is and he's had a lot of lot, a lot of life experience and everything but i think she's not like like my hawk was i felt like my hawk was much younger than anders when i wrote when i did that romance you know and but um i feel like these two are a little bit more on a little bit of an even playing field but his life is the life experiences he's had and everything is just it's so different but also she trusts him implicitly you know we owe ourselves a memorable vacation. We should pick a destination. There must be some travel brochures in the ship's computer. I would very much like to see a desert. Mm hmm. I feel like even for like uh, his face is like kind of strange for human standards, but it expresses very well. And even then, like you can kind of just like infer what he's thinking just by like a tilt of the head. He doesn't even have to like move his face much. Um, I guess, we'll, oh, we'll go, we'll go feed the fish really quick, but we'll call it here. I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna add on the things, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I hope I don't overfeed you, fishies. Did I? I don't think. Okay, well, we saw that we. I'm not. I don't have any of the achievements yet that I wanted. So we'll, we'll just keep barreling on. Now we. Well, now we've got everybody's personal missions done. We could go get the Reaper IFF, or we might do a couple of other little things first, and then go get the Reaper IFF. Or should we go get the Reaper IFF first? I think I already said this, didn't I? Oh uh, well, frick, man. Let's just go get the Reaper IFF. I might change my mind in the break, but anyway, maybe next time we'll get the Reaper IFF. Maybe we'll do some boring planetside missions. Who knows? Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed so far. I'm playing very far ahead again, so whoop-de-doo for that. Um, but thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.